and take your drain dampers. This is diameter 60, guys. Seems to be not dimension. This one is going to remain, which is from here till there is going to be diameter 60. Let me even prove it. From here till there is the same as from here till right there. Besides that, you see, they said from here till there is 60. If you put your, your, your vertical line like this, I'm analyzing it, you see. And even this other side, tallies with what, with it, what it seems to be not in dimension. So to draw that one, we are going to say uh, 60 divided by 2. 60 divided by uh, uh, 30, 60 divided by 2, we are getting 30. So I'm going to open my drawing compass to 30, which is this one. Then I come and draw diameter 60, which is this one. <coughs> it's going to remain there. So do I have to stress myself drawing this one? Do I have to? Yes, I can. I can uh, do it uh, uh, for the sake of what of the for the sake of what of the view that we are going to draw the third view, which is uh, uh, the to the the top view. You understand? So the PCD of it, uh, assuming they didn't say draw the 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 right view, we are not even going to stress ourselves because these holes they are beyond your cutting plane. You understand so this one and this one that uh, they are actually representing this one uh, by they are very represented by this one isn't it how about this one is being represented by this you understand mm -hmm. so then this let me trace it this one talks about this sixth so we are having a hold was from here till here it's a hidden again you understand so Actually, from here till uh, this other side, it will go with the what it's an off cut. So, so but then when we go to what to your top view, we have to uh, have it. We are going to need it. Understand? So now let me just draw the PCD. Uh, the PCD they said is diameter 85. So 85 divided by two, you are getting how much? 42.5. 42.5 which is 42.5 is this one so it's the PCD so we draw it as like a center long front long You understand so now let, uh, let me come and finish up for this other side so I'll deal with this horse later so now to from here going up the set is 24 eh? it's 24 millimeter so this 24 I can do it here you can even do it right from you your friend you still going to be this one in the same thing 25 there's my 24 is that one you understand do you see my 24 then from there where my 24 is I can have a faint horizontal line then from there extend this one just a little bit as well so now I can get the sixth which is what I've done it there and Right here, let me be accurate. Right here, extend it even down, my brother. There it is. So now, from here till here, I can have a duck line now from here till there, which is this one, which is this one from there till there. So I can go up once touch the what the 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 diameter of 110 which is radius 50 
five I can stop which means I'll go up like this go up like that there you go duck here there you go duck right there so which means I can go back to my uh, radius 55 just to extend it duck till here extend it duck till right there So now let's see what was seems to be a challenge now. So this line, this one, the dimension from here till there. Let me also correspond it right from the from the paper, isn't it? Yes, it's correct. You see what was seems to be missing is actually going to be given by that radius. You understand? So this dimension of from here till here, it will be just given by that radius of 55. So which means I'll take this point horizontally. Fit. There you go. So now I can go back to my front view. So what was seems to be missing from there till there was seems to be not given as a missing view. I now have it. I can have it to dark now from here till there. You understand? which is uh, this one from here till there so now I can go up I can go up bear it in mind Uti, the question said to draw the the outside what front view so which means you draw this front view the way you see it there you go there we go I have it back here Duck here and duck right there. I want. Okay, so now I can take this point is 60. This point diameter 60. I want to get to this one, isn't it? I want to get to this one. So right from the center, I can have it duck, which is this one. So from here to right the duck. So that I come back and have this one dark from here to right there, which is this one from there till there, isn't it? So even down here, anyone, which is this one from here till there. So how about these hidden details? Go back to trace them. They are actually talking about what that flat hexagon. You understand? Even this one that flat hexagon you understand so which means I can simply extend this one faint then from here is hidden line so how do you draw a hidden line it's a dash 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 so firstly construct it and have it it is a dash 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 so that's how we draw a what a hidden a line so now let's see what is left there by our what our friend view. So we are I am left with this point, this one dark from here till there, which they're actually talking about that corner there, which is this one. I already have it. So I can simply have it dark here, dark here. Remember, I am looking for <coughs> for these six marks. An outside front view with hidden details is shown this one this six marks you understand so i don't know why is it paying six marks whereas it's just uh, you are drawing it the way as you can see it understand so from there now i i will go and get what this radius radius a uh, radius 10 radius 10 so i can simply open my drawing compass to half of 10 isn't it half of 10 which is Five millimeter. This is it. So I come and place it along the line, uh, the vertical center line, and with the what? With the PCD. Uh, 
so I can uh, draw it draw it faint actually draw it faint you have to get this one very faint was it it won't be the actual this one it will go with what with an off cut you understand so that is why I'm saying draw it faint so even this one actually at the end uh, I can if they are not faint enough I'll erase them so even this other one here throw it faint because they will go with an off cut all right so once i have them like this i can now have the center which is this one which is this one you understand so now take this one faint so the hidden line now and take this other one faint the hidden line from there to the even this other side there you go so and down here there you go you understand so uh like this we can now say our uh, the six marks is already in our pocket understand these six marks which they were talking about is already in our pocket so from there uh, what is left how about this one this one is supposed to be as a hidden line even here even here really right so now this 18 pen pp is actually situated right here my brother brothers p p so like as i've said that we consider we draw what is being pointed by the arrow and whatever that is beyond the cutting plane we uh, 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 whatever that is beyond your arrow that arrow that i'm talking about to consider it as an off cut so now i want i want to section so this hidden line this hidden line eh? this one it will become dark it will be dark you understand and this one remember this one was not there even yeah, uh, as actually the one who drew it when i was analyzing this one it won't be there so now i'll come back here and have it solid from here to right there so even me here i can just erase it just a little bit because it's not faint enough so what is going to be in section is only this part did you hear the question was like a draw a full sectional front view as if it will be a uh, uh, it will be everything it should be in section so i'll decide to start here and i have another one here i have another one remember we are using this type of a, a s square a 45 degrees square so your hatches they can be anti-clockwise they can be in a clockwise direction as long as they are at an angle of 45 degrees equally spaced so that's how you get it that's how you get it so if you're at this extent my brother consider your six month marks in your pocket and your four marks in your pocket you understand about 10 marks already now so we have analyzed we've answered the cutting plane of what of pp you understand so they set a full sectional top view on the cutting plane a a five marks a full sectional a top view which is the third view missing you understand so now we are going to have a top view on top of your front view please observe that you don't just draw guys i've seen students they will be just drawing any way they like observe the law of orthographic projection because this is given in what in orthographic projection 
understand we've got two different types of orthographic projection we've got the first and we've got the third this one is the third you understand so this top view we are going to draw it on top of your front view you understand so this is your front view this is your right view how to get so now to to get that right from the upper right hand corner of my top view i am going to have a line of 45 degrees draw it dark so what is going to happen now is that all the points that are behaving a uh, how are behaving a uh, vertical i will take them vertically once they touch the what the line of 45 degrees then i will construct them uh, they will change direction so all the points that are behaving vertical I will be, they will be constructed up once they touch the what the line of 45 degrees then you go they will change direction they go horizontally you understand how like this let's do them this one's already there this one there it is then the pcd then the second one then this one then uh, the the hexagon this one again fit there you go faint how do you draw a faint line you hold your pencil at the end then you pull you don't push softy gentle so this is the PCD of the hole so the second one, there you go, the last one, there you go. So planning is very much important, you understand, because by look of things, the, 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 my drawing almost got out of paper. So that is why you are supposed to start bottom left hand corner as, much, as far as possible. Uh, as much as possible because this I'm, uh, I'm using what a, th a, a three I'm using a, an A3 but in the final examination you'll be using an A2 so this one will fit nicely you understand so I can have this one faint have this one faint have the PCD This other one faint. This one faint. Faint. The center. I didn't took it. This is going to be my center. this then this one this one there you go there you go this one this other one and the last one I want to get right so from there what is going to happen now so we are